Welcome to another Wednesday's Word. One of the things I've seen in people I'm talking to lately is a rise in anxiety and fear. Some of it's around politics, others around family, some around personal finances, the economy in general. But many of us are dealing with things that feel beyond our control. People who are having memory issues and health problems. Talking to and praying for somebody with a mask that they have to wait months until they can see a doctor. All this stuff starts piling up and can feel so big, so out of control. It feels like our problems are in charge. And here's the thing. We know, if you're a Christian, that God's in charge. One of the things about Reformed theology that Cascade Christian Reformed Church holds to is that God is absolutely sovereign. There's not a single molecule in all of existence that God's not in charge of. As Abraham Kuyper said, there's not a square inch on the planet that God doesn't say, this is mine, including the places of our problems. But we mostly know this, but we still worry. And so what I've been working on is not only amassing more head knowledge about God, but also meditating on who God is. What meditation does is drills down truths past our head and into our hearts. Sometimes the 18 inches or however far it is from your brain to your heart and your gut can feel like a million miles. I know God's in control, but we still lose sleep. I know God's in control, but I want to solve my own problems in my own ways. And so it takes a minute to slow down and just say, God, you're in control. In seminary, one of my professors taught me a breathing prayer. You just breathe in slowly and think, Jesus Christ, Son of God, And then as you breathe out, just pray, have mercy on me, a sinner. And just doing this again and again, slowly, just Jesus Christ, Son of God, you're filling yourself with God, his presence, the lordship of Jesus, the fact that he's in control. Then you breathe out, have mercy on me, a sinner. I bring nothing to my salvation but the sin that made it necessary. I need mercy. In the passage on patience that we talked about yesterday in church, or a couple days ago in church, I didn't get to focus on it, but it talked about Job and his patience. It so just threw in there that God is full of compassion and mercy. When we need patience, when we need help, God is merciful. So breathe. Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and he will have mercy on us, even though we're sinners. So rest in him. God bless.